what's up my name is B in this video I'm gonna show y'all how I achieve this curly crochet afro that looks like it's growing out of my scalp okay but before I get into the video make sure you hit that subscribe button make sure you hit that like button and make sure you leave me a comment by the end of the video let's get into it so first off I'll braid my hair in some straight backs and I also leave a little bit of leave out in the front area and in the back I decide how much leave I want to have based on parting so but this area right here is my middle part and I decide that based on how long I want to do my parts when I part my hair put the middle part as far back as I would go and then I leave a little itsy bit out right over here so basically this is how far I would part my hair when I do the part but you need a little bit that's gonna cover the crochet so I'll leave a tiny bit out that will cover the crochet where the braids end you have the part and you have the leave out I want to put the end of the rat tail comb right here and make sure that it's covered so if you don't see any color that's why I like to use like a color rat tail comb because you can see the color a silver one black whatever I don't like to use black because if you use black you can't really see it anyway yeah and that's how I do my middle part Then for the sides you make sure that the leave out covers the comb and that's how you know you got a good amount of leave out and then I just braid the leave out down You don't have to braid it all the way down like there's no point in doing that because you're gonna take it out anyway okay. and basically this is the braiding pattern with my leave out in the front and I've shown you guys in the back how I did my braiding pattern I did about eight straight backs in the back of my hair and then in the very back, I have my little patch of leave out in the very back over there so that, you know, it can blend when I want to put my hair up or something like that. But yeah, this is the braiding pattern that I used. I was literally looking for something cheap. Got it in a beauty supply store. V8910 Bohemian 1B hair. And it literally matches my texture so well. This lasts you about, I want to say like two weeks if you take care of it. Anyway, this one pack is enough for the whole head and it's literally only $16, so it's worth it. So worth it. So it comes with three pieces. So each piece is a different length. There's an eight inch, nine inch, and a 10 inch. I'm gonna start at the bottom with the longest, the 10 inch, and then I'm gonna go with the nine inch, and then I'm gonna go to eight inch at the top. Keeping it real with you guys, best thing about this hair is that it doesn't seem synthetic at all. And that is a blessing this hair you don't have to do like a lot of crazy pulling apart and figuring out like you know how much hair you want to use for your crochet blah 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 I'm happy that it comes in its own little formations like this like you know like instead of it being some big bulky thing and then you gotta pull it apart blah 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 no it's like its own curl and you just take it find the middle and get started so yeah let's do it so since I'm doing it in like a sew-in kind of fashion and each bundle or whatever is different lengths, what I'm going to do is go from the bottom to the top and I'm going to use the 10 inch starting at the bottom and go straight across. So if you've never used a crochet needle before, very simple, very easy. So you stick the needle up through your hair and at the top, you're going to see that it has a needle. The needle there, it's open right now, but it can close, open, close. Make sure you're pushing it through while it's closed. Then you can open it when it gets um, through your hair loop. Um, so now that it's open, we're going to take the loop of the hair and wrap it in. And then we're going to close the needle and then pull it through, back through the hair. Open it up. Make sure you have a loop of hair struggle a little bit for me but once I got the loop I got it so make sure that loop is open and then you're gonna put the end of the hair through the loop and you're gonna do that twice Then you're gonna pull it so that it's tight and then the two ends you're gonna pull them to make it even tighter 
just like that. Okay, let me show you guys again. So push the needle closed up through the hair. It'll open on its own sometimes. You'll take the piece of hair and you're gonna put it in the loop, and in the hoop, excuse me. And then you're gonna close it up. You're gonna pull your hair through, open up the loop of the hair, and then put your end of your hair through that loop twice. And pull it to tighten it. Then you can pull the two ends again to make it even tighter. Now I'm gonna show you guys again twice, no talking. Okay, quick update. So this is after two bundles. We are almost to the finish line. One thing I want to point out as I'm doing this is while you're crocheting the hair and trying to get it to look like a real afro, make sure that you're shaping it while you do it. Maybe pull it a little bit. Just making sure that it's even, that the inches that you're doing are all at the same level so that it's not like weird when it's done and like misshaped and you got to do all this cutting and stuff i'm trying not to do all of that so yeah all right let's get back to it Okay, so the crochet is done. All the hair is in my head. Use the entire pack, except for these last two pieces, um, which I'll probably find somewhere to put them as I take this out. But now we're gonna take out the leave out. So I'm just gonna unbraid the sides. Now, as you can see for right now, my hair is stretched, so it's not gonna match the texture of the actual hair. But when I wet the hair, it will match. So I'm gonna go off camera, wet the hair, and then come on back and show you guys what the blend looks like. Okay, so I started off, I wet my hair, added a little bit of leave-in and conditioner, and then you just comb it through. Or if you don't have a match texture, you can literally do a braid out and it would match it. Um, so yeah, basically that's what I did for the sides. Now I'm gonna use some water to show you the middle area. But you gotta get it really wet. For me, for my hair, I gotta get it really wet before I put on any leave-in. Yeah, so as you can see, this side is already like drying correctly and then it'll dry and match. And this side, I need to add a little bit more leave-in because it's like kind of puffing instead of actually 
like define so you have to fully define your curls if you have this curl texture you have to define your curls in order for it to match the texture of the um the crochet here otherwise you know it's gonna look a little wonky but it doesn't look that bad but i still want to define it a little bit more so i'm gonna add some conditioner i'm gonna go in this time with the shea moisture i may actually need to use a detangling brush or a comb i could do conditioner or you could also use gel i've literally run out of my eco gel for today so i'm not using any gel but a lot of the time i will use gel or I'll use my conditioner to make it match. Okay, so this is the finished look. It literally looks so natural, like it's grown out of my head, exactly what we're going for. And I love this look. It's gonna last probably like two weeks or so if you take care of it. And honestly, you can just braid your hair to get this desired look. You can use gel. Eco usually works for me to blend the hair textures. Hope you guys like this video. If you did, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and leave me a comment down below. But thanks guys so much for watching. Bye.